Good morning, preschool and kindergarten friends. I hope you're having a really great morning. I know that things are going really fun over there this week. It's going to be a fun week. I saw your pumpkins. Um, I saw a lot of them on Facebook, and then I snuck over there yesterday after you left for school, and you made some of the most beautiful pumpkins I have ever seen. Thank you for sharing those with me. Um, it gave me some ideas that I might be able to do on my own pumpkin at home. But today I want to ask you about what do you want to be when you grow up? Why don't you think about that for a second? What do I want to be when I grow up? You've probably been asked that question before. It's asked a lot of little kids. They want to know, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, when I was little, I didn't really know what I wanted to be. But I said, I don't want to be a teacher. You see, my mama was a teacher when I was little, and my two aunts were teachers, and my cousins were teachers. Everybody in my family was a teacher of something. Most of them taught elementary school. Some of them taught other things, but I did not want to be a teacher. I wanted to be anything but a teacher. I don't really know why. I just didn't want to be a teacher. I wanted to be something new and exciting. So I grew up and I did several things. But you know what God was calling me to be? A teacher. Now, when I think about being a teacher, I think about maybe what Miss LaDonna looks like or Miss um, Lacey looks like. Somebody who teaches children in a school with little children who sit in desk and teachers stand up front and teach the things like ABCs and one, two, threes. But God was calling me to a whole different type of teaching. You know, I teach you guys all the time. I teach all the boys and girls that come here to the church. I teach them about something very, very important. I teach them about the Word of God. Now, your teachers that are in your classroom right now watching this video with you, they teach you very important things like ABCs, one, two, threes, colors, how to be a good friend, how to sit in a circle, all of those things that are important. But what Miss Chris teaches is something that is completely different. I teach you about what the Word of God and how Jesus can be your forever and ever friend. In the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 12, verse 23, it says, I will teach you what is good and right. So all that time that I was growing up saying, I don't want to be a teacher, I didn't really have it right, did I? Mm -mm. Miss Chris was supposed to be a teacher. I was just supposed to be a teacher to you guys and not teach you about ABCs and 1, 2, 3s, but to teach you about the Bible. Because, see, there's a, there's a thing about once you learn something, once you have learned it and it is in your heart and it is part of you forever and ever, it's really important that you teach someone else. Now, when I was little, someone who was older than me taught me about Jesus. I'm teaching you guys. And you know what? You can start teaching people about Jesus today. Do you know anybody who is younger than you? Do you have a brother or a sister who lives at home that doesn't get to come to preschool? You can teach them about Jesus today. Um, I had to wait until I was big and grown and went through a lot of other stuff before I learned about how to teach people about Jesus. But you guys know about Jesus because Miss Chris has told you. And now it's your turn to go and tell somebody else. Be a teacher today. Let's pray. Father God, we know that we have lots and lots of things to learn, and we just hope that one of those things is to learn about you every day, and help us to remember that once we've learned something, it's our job to pass it on. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great week. I hope that you have fun trick-or-treating this week, and I will see you very soon. Bye.